Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to learn how to center a form in HTML and CSS. Without further ado, let's start our tutorial. So first I will open my text editor um, and then open the folder. As you can see I have this folder called center form. Um, select folder. Well, um, the folder has nothing much, it's just a background image and an index so let's start a work so first uh, click open your index.html and then uh, exclamation mark and tap and then you have it so I'm going to type register here for the title register okay now for the body um, what we're going to do we'll do something like this okay so we're going to have a send registration form with the email password, confirm password, and then a register. And then we're going to have the background photo, which, uh, which is car. Okay. Um, so the first thing we need is that we need to have a class for our, for our form. Um, so now I'm going to call it uh, register. I don't know, the class called register. Um, and then we're gonna have in H1 called registration. Uh, registration. Okay, and this is and for the, the form we're gonna have a form. Uh, we have within the form we have um, email so that we have label email and then email input text. And then password. I'm gonna have another label for password. And then input for password. Um, well, here you you can do the uh, password. Okay, type password. Input. The next thing we wanna have is that confirm password. Same thing. So label. Confirm password. Here we have confirm password. And input password. Um, finally, we're gonna have a register. So we register. We have the input, but the time is submit. Uh, but before that. I want to no, first let's just open it first. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the index open with live server. You can install the live server in the Visual Studio Code yourself. Okay, there we have it. Uh, nothing much, just a, a symbol form without any CSS file yet. Um, I also want to. Oh, the submit query when we can type in uh, the value here and it will have this register. Alright, so this is a very basic form with our CLS file, and we're, but we're going to do it now. But just before that, I want to add another um, a, a P tag, the power up tag, and then we'll add in the already have in account and then lock in. Okay, so lock in. If the user already have an account, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a login for that. So we're gonna have href, nothing yet for now. Okay, um, let's jump to our CSS work. So you can create a separate file and name it uh, main.cs and you know link it to this file. But I don't, we're not going to do a lot with CSS, so um, we're gonna keep it this way. Style. Okay. The first thing I want to do is to uh, pack my, my body tag here and then insert the background image. So what I what I will do is that uh, background image. URL 
and uh, um, I have a uh, image called background dot gfif. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, background dot gf jfif actually jfif. Okay, so first uh, we have the uh, the background here, but it repeat all right and it doesn't look very nice i want it to be center instead of this okay so what we can do is we're gonna say background position background position x right here and then we're gonna have 50 percent and then background position y position y and another fifty percent right there we have it so it's actually center our image okay um, the next thing I want to do is with the registration so I remember we have a class re registration here that um, is to wrap everything. So what with this first register? So first, uh, we want to our form to be at the center of the page. So we're gonna have set map margin uh, to auto first. Okay. Uh, after that, um, the background. Now I'll set the background to white. Okay, then we'll have the background to white. So we see the background is uh, stretched all over the, you know, in our website. So we want to set the, the width for our background. So we can do that by say, um, max width, max width 350 pixel. Okay, so the maximum width that I will allow for the form A three hundred and fifty pixel. Okay, after that we can have the padding. I will have padding ten pixel, um, and then um, I don't want the rectangular like this, but I want it have a bit curve. So we're gonna have four radius, four pixel. For example, now you have to see the curve of it. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start the the input right here. Um, you have if you have a look at this, you see the input here, type text. And we have three of them. One, two, three. We have three of them. So we're gonna start it. So you say input type text. Okay, and uh, and then we're gonna first it need to display in block inline block because you do this so that you can set the width and the height for these uh, input uh, next you can have this set of width to 100 percent text and you have width to 100 percent padding um, padding 10 pixel for example uh, what is it in fact only this oh, okay so because we we actually type here type text but with a password I uh, can just change it to text and type here as a text as well okay now we have three of it like this okay then um, Now, I want to set the uh, border for the boxing, um, border sizing. Border box.
Oh, this was a box sizing. Oh, very sorry for this. Let's go. Okay, but the box sizing, not border. Box in box. And now we have it equal like this. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have. Um, the border radius four pixels for example um, this look a bit bold to me so I want to set the border to 0 0.5 pixel solid alright and it look thinner finally we can have a margin um, 10 pixel for the top and um, bottom but we want it zero with this all right so it stretch out a bit nicely uh the next thing we will style is a submit button so input and then the type we want to have uh, submit here so for the submit we will have the width similar actually 100 percent and then we also have padding 10 pixel uh, margin uh, 10 pixel 0 okay this is the button we have right now we want the, the border radius border radius 4 pixel as well okay now I don't want it to have the border so I'm gonna set border to none border to none all right now we will set color for the hour no burden so background and I'll just say orange okay and then the font size uh, 20 pixel for example okay look pretty looks all right and the cursor is just set it to pointer okay good now for the registration if you want it to be you know Center and should have type one, type I, center, and then there you go. Well, the final thing we want to do is that, uh, so we can see that. Oh, this this is still repeat, right? So we want to set a background repeat to none. Okay, so we can just go back to our body. I set background and repeat to uh, oh, no repeat actually no repeat let's try it again okay then it doesn't repeat anymore um, now you see the background is not stretch out as we want so we, we want the background to stretch out so what we can do is that we can just background site and then we have cover okay let's try it again all right then it look good everything looks good so far but well, the only thing I want to do right now is that so we have is center in the middle but I want it to have um, to have a margin with the top so we're not going to go and set margin top here but after trying to find a solution, I have my own solution. That we, the, sim the simplest way just to have a class. So we have a class called top here, and then go back and then set the value for our class. So for example, here I want to have margin top a uh, hundred, a hundred trip, no, a hundred pixel for example, and there we have it. So the form is push down a bit all right so that's that mu that's it pretty much in this tutorial don't want to make it too long but you just um, get the idea of how you know we can have a center form an HTML thanks for watching